that God's love is needed for us to be able to love, because that's the love that we have, it's the love that we're able to get first from God, and God is the source of life, and that's what the water represents. So as we're going to, I'm going to be saying a special prayer, and what I'm going to ask for the children to do is I'm going to ask for you to extend your hands out to pray over top of the water, and as you're doing that, it, imagine if you can, it's like God's love flowing out of you and flowing to the waters that we're going to be using to baptize these children. So AJ, I'm going to ask you to come, and you're going to help me pour the water, okay? So come on up. And so can we have your hands outstretched? And imagine if you can watch and see the water that AJ and I are pouring in, and imagine and recognize it's part of God's love. Let me get that in a different way, okay? Because you need to get me on your hand along. Okay? Excellent. Let us pray. Oops. Gracious and holy God, we bless you for the gift of life, and within it, the gift of water. Over its unshaped promise, your spirit hovered at creation. By water comes the growth of the earth. Through water, you led the children of Israel to freedom. In the waters of the Jordan, your child Jesus was baptized. Now may your spirit be upon us and what we do, that this water may be a sign for all of new life in Christ, in whose name we pray.